Our next guest is like many others in Ukraine who picked up a gun to defend her country. Kyra Rudik is a member of the, Euro of the Ukrainian parliament and she joins me now. Kyra, we just reported that that uh, convoy of Russian armor has been stalled on the outskirts of Kiev. What are you seeing on the streets of Kiev right now? Uh, hello, good evening. So right now we see that there are actually two tactics uh, on uh, uh, Kiev that Putin would have. The first tactic is to try to make a breakthrough, and we are getting ready to that. And the second tactic is uh, the siege of the city, and for that we were also preparing for a while. Uh, just uh, like 10 minutes ago, be, uh, before our call, uh, the uh, Russian missile hit the TV, TV tower in Kiev. And this is another part of uh, uh, the plan that we knew about to start with making this oriented and disorganized and then uh, share the disinformation that uh, government actually agreed with Putin on some items. This is why we believe that peaceful negotiations that happened recently were just a part of this plan. So we had uh, three or four active uh, Air Force attacks uh, on Kiev within the last one hour. And uh, right now we anticipate that uh, Russian troops will try to get into the city. This is what we have seen during the last six days of war actually the whole six days of war and uh, the attacks is very simple if shelling you, the city and then the troops coming in if you can hold them off if they cannot break through and you can hold them off is that your winning strategy yes our winning strategy is actually to win time because the sanctions that we do believe in they started honestly working only yesterday they were implemented on friday Gosh, it seems, seems like, a, like a last year. And uh, they were only working yesterday. So, and already created tons of disruption for Russia, for Russian citizens, and uh, for the price of uh, stocks of uh, Russian companies, for uh, trading of the Rus Russian banks. So, it, we need to let Russia to collapse. And for that, we will need time. And right now, we are winning this time with, with our... Uh, lives with our blood because this is exactly what needs to happen russia needs to collapse so we would be able to win this war can, otherwise i don't see a good exit of it can i just ask you how are you preparing the children the young children that you have with you and in the bomb shelters in kiev how are you preparing them to live uh, in this situation well we are trying to make it all a game though it is super heartbreaking because uh, uh, they sometimes don't understand what's going on and sometimes they do. We are teaching them their blood type. So toddlers who even cannot talk, they know to show like when you're asking them like, uh, this is my blood type. And we know that we know to play the game of turtle is when you hear the siren, you go down on your belly, you open your mouth and you close your ears. And this is the best way to protect yourself from, from the attack. But it's also a way to pretend that you're a turtle. And we had to play turtle too many times recently. Sure. Uh, it, it, what's going on is appalling. We feel very strongly for you. And we want you to know that uh, our team and our viewers are very strongly supportive of you and your people. Thanks very much for your time, ma'am. I hope everything works out for you. Good luck indeed. Thank you. Indeed. Thank you so much. Sure thing.